Now it has been a while since we've tied a pattern from Morgan Lyle's Simple Flies, so I started flipping through it today to find one we haven't done yet, and I found a pretty good candidate. And the pattern I came up with is called a Green Rockworm Euronymph. Now I've done a green rockworm on here before. That's basically just a caddis pupa. I tied one last year with a bead head and a vinyl rib for the body. This one today, it's even simpler than that. Just a fur dubbed body with a little bit of hair's ear at the head. Now it's a super simple pattern and meant to be tied pretty sparse so that you can fish it and get it down deep pretty quickly. Now there's nothing at all hard about this pattern. I mean, it's in Lyle's Simple Flies book, but there's one technique that I don't do a lot of. And what I'm talking about is when you're deciding how heavy do you want to tie nymph, you've got a couple of options. You could, you know, change the diameter of your, your weighted wraps. Say you normally tie with a 0.15 inch diameter, you could step it up to a 0.20 or a 0.25, but that will also change, you know, the profile of what your fly looks like. So what I do sometimes, and what I'm going to show you today, I stick with a thinner diameter weight and then just put a layer of the wraps almost the whole length of the hook, but then I overlap it going back so you can really fine tune how heavy you want the fly to be, but you can maintain a little bit of that profile that you might be looking for. But it's still a really simple technique, super simple fly. You know this thing's gonna catch fish. I hope you like it. Let's give it a shot. All right, there it is in the vise, a green rock worm Euro nymph. Pretty simple little pattern. You can barely see that monofilament rib in there. Now I'm tying this on a size 14. It's a barbless scud hook. Let's get this caught in here, right there. We may adjust it while we tie it. So the first thing we're gonna do, we are gonna weight this. Now one of the things I do, a, a little tactic I use, if I don't wanna to go to a real fat weight, but I want it fairly heavily weighted, I might put down a layer. So this is 015 lead free, which is a little bit lighter than regular lead. I'll put the a layer, a row of wraps as long as I want it. And then I will just go back right over it and then maybe halfway down with another layer right here. So what we've effectively done We've helped build a little bit of taper, but we've also added extra weight. Just have to be careful, I got a little sharp point right there. Now I'm just gonna use my thread. This is a green, it's an olive green actually, so it's not bright, but I'll put a little dam behind it, and then a few wraps over it. If I can smooth this transition out, great. If not, don't worry about it too much, but do it at the back and the front, and then we'll catch it off at the back. Now with our thread in the back, we want to catch in monofilament for a rib. This is a 4X. I think this is nylon, but sure, you could use fluorocarbon. That would be just fine. It's not going to stretch much anyway. And I think you could go uh, a little bit smaller if you wanted. I did one with a 6X a little while ago, and I think it was just a little too thin. So I'm going to step it up and use this 4X. Now let's take our thread to the back. Watch that rib. I don't want it to spin around on me. But here's where I'm going to adjust this in the vise. So that, give it a little slant so that I can take this body well around the back here. Now I'm going to put a little bit of wax on it before I apply the dubbing. Now the recipe calls for a bright caddis green and antron, maybe Z-line. I didn't have that in this color, so this is just a, a regular nylon, and it'll work just fine. So we're not gonna put it on here too tight. We can use that rib to really tighten it up and help us you know, form the, the profile we want. Okay, after we got a little bit around, let's go ahead and put our hook back in here like normal and just finish this, wrapping it on up to the front of this weight. Okay, we got a nice little taper there. Uh, it might, we might thin it out a little bit when we get this rib up here, but go ahead and wrap this, and I'm not gonna counter wrap this. Counter wrapping monofilament is difficult sometimes because the thread wraps might make it unwrap on you. So just keep that in mind if you have problems when you're doing a monofilament rib.
Now we only have one more component. That's a little bit of hair's ear. I just pulled a small little piece out right behind the, uh, right under the ear, right above the eye. So I guess where a rabbit's eyebrows might be. We're not gonna put this on here thick. It's just really giving us a little dark hint of a head on there. So maybe an inch and a half or so of a noodle and pretty thin. And what I will often do on nymphs like this where I don't really want to use head cement, I'll just take my super glue, put a drop right um, within that first half inch of thread, and then I will just wrap it around, let some of that super glue get right on those thread wraps, and now I'll do a whip finish real quick. And if you do it quick enough, those whip finish wraps will, you know, lay on top of a little bit of that super glue and you have a pretty durable head. So there you go, folks. Super simple rockworm Euro nymph. I appreciate you watching. Y'all take care and we'll see you next time.